Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2015 Ford Focus ZTEC S. And today's review is taking place at Hegarty's Ford, situated in Letterkenny, County Donegal. For all contact information regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we're going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain all the features work. We'll also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. And also we're going to be taking this car on a detailed test drive as well. So, let's get started. Now this particular Focus has the uh, keyless ignition. And this one is still a fairly base model. Uh, with the ZTEC you can get quite a few options on it, such as rear electric windows, which this one doesn't have. The S is just a normal ZTEC with a sports body kit on it. And part of the S model is these very nice seats with red stitching. Okay, so we'll just keep the keys down here in the storage area. Press the start stop button once. And then just, just apply the clutch and hold it in. The car fires right up. Now as you see you got your main truck computer screen located right here. A bit low on fuel, but according to this we still have about 111 kilometers of range left. So you got the three-spoke multifunction leather app steering wheel, it's very nice. It's also got electronic rack and pinion power assisted steering and also the uh, steering wheel can be adjusted manually uh, you can just move it up and down in and out until you get your desired driving position so you got your main truck computer controls located on the left of the steering wheel they'll just go through that center screen and also you got your standard radio controls and so on down there so we'll just go through some of the uh, trip computer controls very easy to navigate through you just use these arrows so if I just press the left one here you got your main menu, so you got two trip computers to select from, as well as your information. So let's just click the first one. And this gives you things like your average speed, trip consumption, uh, digital speedometer as well. Average fuel consumption, instantaneous consumption. Uh, 111 kilometers to empty. According to the gauge, I probably have a lot less than that. It's nearly on the red, but this is obviously a very economical car. And if we go back and into Truck Computer 2, you have roughly the same type of gauges as well. I think you can just completely customize and set this up to your liking. And then you just your general information on the car. My key and system checks and so on. And settings is the last menu. Just go through all your basic stuff such as vehicle settings, uh, customization for the my key setup, your display settings and so on. Easy to use. So I've actually uh, already done a review and test drive of the preface lifted focus. Uh, with this new one they've slightly uh, altered the interior just a little bit. Radio still sits up nice and high here. Got your nice screen as well, good in size. You got all your preset stations here as well as your uh, additional buttons here for going through various menus. Is he, is he evil or is he just and extremely is quite good as well. Francis Underwood? And then you can go to things such as you know, your different radio stations, media, includes things like the auxiliary and USB ports. You can also pair your phone to the Bluetooth system, just navigate through the general menus of the car. And I just put the hazard switch down here as well. Nicely laid out. And then down here you got your air conditioning controls, you got your four different fan speeds, everything's very nicely laid out, your different zones, the on and off switch, as well as your front rear defrost, and I really like the way all these dials illuminate, they look very, very nice. And down here you also got a 12-volt power outlet, a small storage area, as well as a USB here. And if I just look underneath this center armrest, there's a small storage area, which is removable. You got a little bit more storage, as well as the second USB and an auxiliary jack. And another 12 volt power outlet. Nice leather center armrest, quite handy to have. As well as a little bit of storage here, and this just uh, covers it. Uh, this Focus also has the uh, start stop system. You can just deactivate it by pressing this. Uh, when I'm out doing the test drive, I'm going to have to deactivate it because, personally, I'm not a big fan of the start stop. It can be a bit of a pain because uh, every time you stop the car, 
conch seats, so yeah, it's just not something I'm a big fan of. It's not something I would want to make car really. So let's go and check out the back seats. Legroom isn't too bad. I suppose you could move the seat forward just a bit more. Usually the back seat of a Ford Focus is very spacious. The headroom is quite good on it. Not too bad. I actually really like the way they've done these seats here. You got this uh, nice little additional pattern off the side here, then your red stitching. Looks very nice. Just take a quick look around the exterior before we set off. So with the uh, S kit, as you can see, you get sportier bumpers. We'll just take a quick look around, as well as this very nice rear spoiler, like you would find on the uh, Focus ST, as well as the sports exhaust pipe. And a boot space is quite good as well. We've got about 318 liters of room in here. spare wheel. And as you can see with the facelift they just adjusted the tail lights as well. And this car also has the 17 inch alloy wheels. Nice side skirts as well. The F skirt really does look good in this car. It's also got tinted rear windows. And if we can see at the front New headlight design as well, an LED running daylights. Quite a nice looking car. Okay, so I think we're just about ready to take this car on a brief okay, test so drive. Let's get started. Car on the car first. Clutch in. There we go. Okay, so we're just after leaving the dealership. So we're going to take this car out some back roads to assess the ride quality and then we're also going to take out the dual carriageway and see what the overall performance is like. So uh, first few things regarding the new Focus, uh, this is the first time I've been in one and I do like it. As I was saying earlier in the video, they have slightly changed the interior just a little bit from the uh, pre face of the model. Regarding the side of the exterior, when I first saw it on the internet I was not entirely sure about it, I didn't think I would like it that much. But over time the styling started to grow on me. I uh, really do like the uh, styling of the um, pre facelifted uh, third generation, I thought that was a nice car. Now that one that I had driven before was a uh, base model, uh, so it was, I can't remember if it was called an Edge or not, I'm pretty sure it was called an Edge the one I drove, so it didn't have much equipment on it. This particular Z-Tech S though was very nice, I really like the styling of it from the outside, the sports body kit looks fantastic. The interior is quite nice as well, so it is, it's nicely laid out. I've got things like air conditioning and Bluetooth and uh, this very nice truck computer layout, all the standard. And these sports seats are quite nice as well, they're actually quite comfortable. I know I've only been sitting on them for like 5 minutes, but um, they seem really nice so far anyway. There's a good amount of side bolstering, it really holds you in quite well. Okay, so I'm out in the back roads, going over quite a few bumpy patches at the moment and the car is doing very, very well. The suspension is very good, it's got multi-link rear suspension which is always nice to have, it's very very comfy and an independent McPherson strut suspension in the front. So, so far my opinions on the Focus before I get to the dual carriageway, it's quite comfy on back roads, suspension as I was saying does an excellent job of absorbing bumps, you know you really don't feel many knocks and vibrations in the interior of this car. I think it has a nice interior, it's very comfy. Really can't fault the car so far, but uh, let's go now and see what the power is like when we get to the dual carriageway. Okay, so we're just coming out to the dual carriageway. I'm in second gear, foot to the floor. Wow, <laughs> that's quite good. This thing accelerates really, really well. Wow. Let's go to this other lane here. Foot 
to the floor once more in fourth gear. Wow. This is a fast car. <laughs> it's really, really fast. The acceleration from the 2 liter turbo diesel engine is brilliant. The torque feels almost instantaneous. The car just rockets off. It's fantastic, so it is. Now, as far as the engine goes, it is a 2 liter turbo diesel. When I was researching this car on the internet, I wrote down information for a 160 horsepower engine because uh, I thought that's what this car was. This one actually produces 150 horsepower, so the notes I have are slightly off. Um, I did list the engine specifications at the beginning of the video, as I said, um, but it does have around 150 horsepower, it will do by 130 miles per hour, and the fuel economy will be very good as well. This thing will easily do over 50 miles a gallon, no problem at all. These are very economical cars. There is a wide variety of engines available for the Focus, you know, between uh, the 1 litre EcoBoost and there's 1.5 petrol there. There's quite a good variety and then the diesels, which are going to be the most common ones because, you know, lowest road tax, most amount of power usually and the most economical. But uh, I'm just going to jump it down into fifth. Uh, the pulling power is excellent from this car. Once you get over about 1500 RPM, it really does take off. This car is, is quick. It's really, really very good. The funny thing is, this isn't even a fast one. <laughs> you can get more horsepower out of these 2 litre diesels uh, Ford do offer it. But, wow. I'm very impressed, I am. And the thing is, I'm driving out here in the steel carriageway on this wet, rainy day. And the car is quiet, it's comfortable, it's relaxing, the seats are really nice, it's got a very, very pleasant interior. You know, the Focus has always been just a very good car all around. It's been a spacious uh, family hatchback, economical, powerful. You know, it kind of does everything, so it does. Okay, so we're just going around this roundabout, we're going to come back into the dual carriageway again. Okay, straighten up. And foot to the floor. Wow, already hit the red line there. Yep, fast car, very, very fast car. <laughs> now, this is brilliant, so it is. Wow, it really doesn't take long to get to 60 miles an hour in this thing. So, we're just going to finish up the review now. I can sum up this car very easily. It's very good looking on the inside, it's very good looking on the outside, it's well equipped. There is a huge amount of variety to choose from the Focus range. You can have it as a five door hatchback like we have here, four door saloon, five door estate. Huge variety of petrol and diesel engines, automatic or manual transmission. Uh, you can also have the ST and of course we all know that uh, Ford are currently working on the Focus RS which is going to have over 300 horsepower. It's meant to be an absolute monster of a car. So, you know, you can get pretty much any Ford Focus you like, really. It's going to be brilliant. There's a lot to choose from. Um, I like them a lot, so I do. Um, love driving this car anyway, and I'm just very impressed with it overall. I mean, I'm going up this hill now, foot down. Uh, but, you know, the power is just always there when you want it. These turbo diesel engines are fantastic. They're economical. Got good pulling power, good torque. So I think that's pretty much everything I have to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I'm going to be you know, reviewing a lot of other cars, uh, specifically Fords, uh, over the next couple of months. I still have to do the Kuga and the EcoSport and the Fiesta. I've got a lot of Fords to get through. So uh, stay tuned guys, play more reviews to come.